I don't know if you got any big lockdown purchases, but the thing that we got was this table. Our previous table was a circular glass table in a corner of our kitchen. And actually we thought, no, we need a big table that is gonna be at the center of our living room because it's where we spend so much time as a family, eating together, drawing, playing games. And this table is central to a lot of what we do. One day, we might even be able to use the extendable nature of this table to have other people around. And as I think about Christmas, I think about a big meal table. The picture of Christmas I have in my head is, is crackers and, and a feast of all different foods and lots of people together. And yet this Christmas probably won't look like that. Struggle and circumstance restrictions us wanting to look after each other mean there will be spaces at the table, people we wished we were with, but we just can't be with. And that's going to be really, really difficult. But throughout the Bible, there are loads of tables. Tables are central to the story, just as they play a central role in our lives. And actually, there is always spaces at these tables because God creates space for us and welcomes us. I want to return to a particular table that is, maybe it's a bit of an old wooden table, one that we return to, one that maybe has played a central role in our lives. It's a table in Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. As we focus on tables, we're going to take a little reading um, each day during Advent, journeying through some of the different meal tables in the Bible. And this table, I think, has a really beautiful way of us beginning because David shows us that in the midst of darkness and trial, surrounded by enemies and difficulty, walking through the valley of the shadow of death. Actually, God has prepared a table. God has provided. He himself is our portion. He is what we need. He has laid a feast for us and said, come sit with me, there's space for you. And what is it that God has provided on this table? Well, when we go through this Psalm, I think there are some clues. The Lord is my shepherd. He offers us leadership and direction. He shows us where to go. I lack nothing. He gives us what we need. Not always necessarily what we want, but he, he meets our needs. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He gives us a sense of place and belonging, a place to rest, a place to be. He says, you belong here. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He gives us peace and refreshing. Guides us along right paths for his name's sake. He gives us guidance, shows us the right way to go. <clears throat> and even though we walk through the most difficult places, he gives us his protection. He gives us loving discipline. I think there are two beautiful things about this psalm. One is that the image of a shepherd is an image of God being behind us. And actually, as we look forward, we don't know what the future holds. We're like sheep in a flock, wandering around, led by our noses, led by our stomachs. But God, our shepherd, he is behind us. He is watching over us. He is protecting us. He is gathering us together and gently leading us. And I think that's a beautiful picture for where we are right now. We don't know what is to come. 
We don't know how the world will be rebuilt as we struggle to come through the end of this pandemic. But God is with us. God is watching over us. He's protecting us. He has our back. And we know that if we start to stray off, he will gently come in and lead us and direct us. But as well as God being behind us, he is before us. He has prepared a table for us. He anoints our head with oil. Our cup overflows. His goodness and his love is with us and we dwell in his house. God is before us. There is always a better future. There is always a promise that we are pushing forward to. These light and momentary troubles will be worth it. And why will they be worth it? Because the provision, the thing that God has laid on his table is his son. Jesus says he is the bread of life. He is living water. He is our portion. He is our provision. So I just pray that as we start this Advent season, as we prepare tables, as we make space in our hearts for the coming of Jesus, I pray that you would know God's loving direction. You would know his provision and that he would he would make you so very aware of his peace in your heart today. Amen. Thank you.